Hey everyone, welcome to episode 25 of the Bag Boys podcast. I can't sit on my feet. This is the conspiracy podcast, but before we get into that, we're going to go over some, the, uh, some quick comments. the quick comments from last week. My personal favorite was from Matt A saying, I love watching the podcast with Chris, Rob, Shane, and Mike with Stan. <laughs> Mike who? Mike with Stan. Because it's like, because all you can see is just the mic, because Bruce oh. always hides behind it. Poor Matt, guy. Matt, that's my favorite comment too, buddy. You there's, gotta go laugh Shane, that you one. have to read the one that you told me about. Yeah, yeah. so I got two. Number one is uh, Guy123. When it comes to driving, <laughs> cut Drew some slack. He can't reach the pedals and see over the steering wheel at the same time. <laughs> um, and then the other one, I had to that's scroll funny. deep for this. Uh, it's a it's a question for you, Christian. Oh God, <laughs> this is Christian. So... <laughs> if there if Tesla made a motorcycle, oh, yeah. <laughs> would you buy it and ride it, or is your spinal column too fragile? <laughs> <laughs> I saw that right before podcast. I was like, I can guarantee you, Shane's gonna bring this up. Oh, I, I know. I literally fact. woke up. When was it was a Saturday, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up, checked my phone. First thing I see is that I was lying in bed, just like giggling to myself. I messaged, Rob's like, it's a good Saturday. <laughs> yeah. I messaged it to both of them. Um, my favorite, which I didn't have to scroll so far to see, is Shane's yeah, gonna look like Gru by episode 100 <laughs> if he doesn't start sitting up. It's a combination of this chair, this table, and like Gru. Your bullshit. Like Gru from Despicable Me. Oh, like the, this. And okay, now I go, understand. Buddy. Thanks. <laughs> my back's already sore trying to keep a straight back. And then one other one that I just found funny was give me my property back, Rob. Give me my you're like hippity hoppity. Your girlfriend's now Rob's property. <laughs> 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 this guy shows up please let's <laughs> get a dm from him man i was kidding i'll yeah. dm him back i wasn't <laughs> are you okay. doing your are we going right into it yeah so for conspiracy <laughs> theories you need the x-files music or the Wii menu music <laughs> or, a com- or a combination of either way <laughs> anyways um <laughs> So my first one is we're not gonna get like too su- too super in depth with it because it's not like well we say that but it's conspiracy well, theory. I gotta Mostly waste a I lot of mine. We gotta waste a lot of time on these first two because once it gets to this side of the table, <laughs> the quality goes down real no, quick. Hey, my, you don't mind? That's <laughs> yeah, awful. My my last one will I think that will last a while. Um, Juice is probably like our Komodo dragons, real dragons. <laughs> you're you're actually unbelievably close. I'm excited. Really? <laughs> just go continue. Anyways, so the first conspiracy I want to talk about was something that I actually have an example of from today. Okay. So Illuminati, you guys know what that is, right? Yep. What is the, it? The triangle thing. It's the conspiracy that like a few powerful people control the entire world. <laughs> the new. <laughs> you guys were like this. Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> oh, oh, so the, the the new world order. Yeah, exactly. So okay. that's that's the Illuminati. Um. And so my sister took a conspiracy theories class and she was studying it. Where'd she go to school? Like fucking. It was like, it was an elective for her college, <laughs> for her postgrad. Um, but so she did. The school of Scientology. It's probably an arts she, degree. She did a conspiracy theories one. I was like analyzing them. And so she chose to do the Illum- Illuminati and she got super into it, was like looking at a bunch of stuff. And after spending like three hours, she said, looking at a website of like She's all the in. Illuminati stuff, she got a phone call. And it was like a robotic male voice being like, hello, hello. And it just wouldn't stop saying it until she said hello back. And then it hung up. And then after that, she got spooked being like, the fuck? It's like, Illuminati is real. It was like from an unknown number and stuff. So she's just like, who the fuck was this? Like, why are they calling me after I looked up all this stuff about the Illuminati? So the only reason she told me that is because this morning I messaged her saying, give me a good conspiracy theory to talk about because I didn't do my <laughs> research. <laughs> and then so she messaged me all that, but I hadn't opened it yet. It was on like the Snapchat messaging. Mm-hmm. and after she sent it three minutes later i get a missed call from like a spam number and then i hadn't i still hadn't looked at her message and i was like oh i should go look at my voicemails because i had two uh screen the first one and then the second one it's like a female going like, hello hello and it just hangs up send her my way then man damn it. and then so I, and then i looked at her message and i deleted the voicemail because like oh it's just a spam call or whatever mm-hmm. and then i see her message like what the fuck like what are the <laughs> what's the chance of the timing on this of like as soon as she messaged me about the Illuminati, I get a call doing the exact same thing. There's that no such thing as, as a coincidence in this day and age. Yeah. How how many people is your sister pissed off? I don't know. Someone just has like a tap on her phone. So your mom got that call. <laughs> your cousins got that call. Or maybe call. some like web hacker is like just creeping that website she was on. Just maybe. Just calling people out of the blue being like, I'm going to give this person such a scare today. <laughs> but it just kind of weirded me out because like, I'm, I'm a pretty rational guy. But I was like, that's Wait, so, a weird. So, so do we believe there's an Illuminati? 
I don't think there's the Illuminati in the sense that they control there's everything. There's definitely some yeah. sort of secret society. At the end of oh, yeah. every theory, we should we should say we think it we should, we think it's true or it's not true. I think there is some sort of like like secrets like yeah. high level not society, Illuminati, like torturing people and like well, all that kind of shit. It's been proven Would it cross countries. Yeah, like there's oh, got to yeah. be some sort of like it's it's been proven to some degree about uh like Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, he like, had like a huge circle of like a lot of very powerful people from across the world that were all on like pedophile island with him. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he could have what? what? He could have no. he could have gotten no. he could have gotten <laughs> exposed, or he could have like what do you call not blackmail, just like expose yeah. everybody else. So like, and then he dies in a maximum security prison from being hanged, even though there was supposed to people. Suicide. Like mm-hmm. that's one thing where it's like it's not necessarily conspiracy theory. It's just politicians just can't just. Not even politicians, just rich people. Or just rich people who don't want to get thrown under some sort of bus. Mm-hmm. Well, deservedly so if they're pedophiles, but like, they would just die in maximum security prison. And if you're the guards were taking On a suicide break, watch. Yeah. It's like the guards are supposed With to be cameras. Sure. Correct. Yeah. Like, what did the camera show? Um, the, the, they, they were conveniently erased. They were working then. Or they, yeah, they didn't work yeah, in that so time like, frame. And also, <laughs> and only half a brain can be he, like. He was on 24 7 uh, suicide watch until that happened, in which case. I think they either chose to take him off of it for like 10 minutes or it, both the people who were supposed to be watching him took a break at the same time. They're like, you yeah. know what? This guy's mind's probably changed in the last yeah, 48 he's hours. He's not <laughs> suicidal anymore. Fuck yeah. it. Let's go so for, let's we're go we're for a gonna, coffee. We're going to try no suicide watch for 10 minutes. See what happens. <laughs> 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 Just kills himself instantly. <laughs> they go back to the chief. Our reports show that does not work. <laughs> we should not do this we anymore. We tried. <laughs> Maybe we got to be careful now for sitting here exposing that. Oh, we're just theorizing. We have no idea. Operation oh, yeah. use was a fail. <laughs> yeah. Like, mm-hmm. um, paperclip. If any of us or die, we... I guess, before next week, I think we understand why. I will say that all, of us, have, <laughs> all of us have given our thoughts. Drew has been surprisingly quiet over there. Yeah. I'm part of it. White male, white family, yeah. rich, rich family. Yeah. Oh, who knows? White man. girlfriend who we don't know much about. Yeah. Just could be like a hologram. He he leaves could be like a weekend. like a lizard person or something. Yeah, Drew could be a lizard for all we know. Yeah. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> all right, sorry. <laughs> all right, that's your first one. Uh, yeah, because I, I really want to hear Drew's to be honest. No, you're up. It's Maybe my this turn. Way. Yeah, oh, circle. This way? circle. Okay, one sec. Let me get my <laughs> pull up uh, his report. Let me pull up my uh, field <laughs> from do- grade two. He <laughs> field documents here. So he's just like, mine- there is bad people. <laughs> Mine is that the Denver International Airport is actually a hub for like neo Nazis. Been and, there, not true. And the uh, <laughs> well, explain this. You were there. <laughs> Why do I feel like I've heard something about that airport recently? Because uh, because they they put out like a statement. They were trolling conspiracy theorists because they they know how big of a thing it is. What you might have heard from me is I think it's the same one. It has like a giant horse statue with like red eyes. Isn't this where we were? Yeah, we, yeah, okay. we stopped yeah. at that so, airport. So um, basically, the original thing is like. The first end of the airport was completely fine. Like everyone, like it was like not in need everyone of repair. Liked it. Yeah, right. it, was, it was a good airport. You know, it did airport Nine things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but then they randomly Great scrapped it and built a new one that was like, it's the biggest airport like out of all the major hub transportation hubs in the, in North America. So just reading right <laughs> off this fucking thing. Yeah. Is this is this Wikipedia? It's just like a. It's just some random. It's just some <laughs> random like. Just some random like uh, website that compiled all this for me. Um, but the, it's like way too big <laughs> for an airport. Like it's like five times the size of any other major airport. Like it's Denver. Not too people are flying there, I imagine. Mm-hmm. Compared to like <laughs> it's Chicago. A place, yeah. There's also a giant blue. <laughs> as a giant blue horror structure called Blucifer outside of it. Oh, that's yeah. That has glowing red eyes. It actually looks pretty fucking freaky. I'm not gonna lie. Pit? Yeah. Here, put that to the camera. We didn't get to see it. I don't think. Did um. We? Oh, we didn't leave this when we were like sprinting Yo, through the that airport. Real? Yeah, that's, that's dude. That's that's in front of the airport. And the guy who sculpted it, yeah. it he uh, died. The thing, one of the hooves fell on him and killed him while he was I, making. And it. it was when, like, on opening day. Yeah. Like when it was finishing. Like, it was like they were what a legend. They're putting the finishing touches on it, and then one of the parts just fell off and killed the guy. And then uh, if you look from like the from airborne Dude. from the like, from the airborne while you're airborne, <laughs> yep. bird's all, eye view. all bir- for bird's eye view, all the um, runways are shaped like sort of it's vague, but like they should like swastikas. So it's like, you know, that's my thing. That? Um, I'm trying I'm to imagine what that would be landing like because like so each arm of the swastika is like a nine degree angle. So there's one plane like landing yeah, and the other one just yeah. lands in front of they're, it. They're banked. It, it, it's, <laughs> It's, it's, uh, like a battle ro- Tokyo Drift. it's like yeah. a battle royale if we get to land first. <laughs> Daytona 500. <laughs> but here's the thing that, like, at first it's easy to kind of brush off all oh, its ball bullshit. 
this new airport was randomly commissioned by the New World Airport Commission. And, like, this is the slab the that order. they have in the uh, main hallway. If you can put that to the camera. That's, like, a Masonic logo. And it says New World Airport Commission. Dang. And, but the thing is, if you look at the... If you look at the website for the New World Airport Commission, it doesn't exist. It's not a thing. Like nice. It's just not there. So then it's just like, who did the this? hell? Yeah, who did that? And who is the New World Airport Commission? We got ourselves a good old who done it. Yeah, literally. And then the last two things is, one sec, the stupid website is not being kept up here, to date. Here before, like, our comment section is just full of people from Denver defending their freaking pride <laughs> yeah. and joy. <laughs> Um, and then there's like doomsday art on all the walls, like Man. that part's so sketch. Yeah, like and like the hallways, and there's there's like this underground section yeah. of the building, underground yeah, yeah, yeah. tunnels that span hundreds of miles, and others See, claim there's claimed to be underground bunkers that will be used used by the world's elite when the apocalypse See, arrives. Everything I didn't believe until like I one day read that part. Yeah, I'm like what the why does why does an airport need doesn't really make like miles sense. of underground tunnels? So what's interesting about Dude, that? That airport, sounds scarily legit. Yeah, here's like that here's part the is. So you want to know apocalypse what's... art and second. Let me get a good image of it. Let me get a good. Uh, this isn't the, like. The, there's one of like a Nazi soldier. Like I don't even know if you can see it, but this is basically just like a. It's like a representative from every country or nation in the world, all being like pooled together, and then it just kind of looks kind of morbid. It's not even like underground. Like, we walk past that. That yeah. looks happy. Well, yeah. like it's just like another one of those it's things where it's like um, you're never here, seeing it. I can barely see it. Let, let me find. I'll go. I'll Google image it. I'll find the one, the other picture I'm talking about. But like. I want to see it. It's just like, why is this in the <laughs> airport? Like, no, see for you. Um, so while you Google that, I want to yeah. put it towards you guys. So what's interesting is I only just found out about this recently because one of the other content creators is from that area. And I did not know this. That airport owns like quite a few miles of land in every direction outside of the airport. For mm-hmm. crash landings. No. Well, no, you... no airports do that. Sure. Toronto maybe. does. I think I just destroyed it. It doesn't own a mile. It's definitely not. Yeah, no. it's like it's like, it's like hundred meters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this owns like, like you can't build anything within miles of this airport. That's why when well, we landed there, there's you look like you're landing in a farm field. Yeah, and when we landed, I thought we were gonna die. I was like, are we crash landing somewhere? Where else yeah. are they gonna hide the bodies? But, so like that's the interesting thing is like why why do they need that much land? No other airport does that. I get it's in the mm. middle of nowhere. It's just all countryside, but like but country the, roads. The thing that really wide. gets me is this New yeah. World Airport Commission. That's an actual plaque in the mm-hmm. airport. Okay, one sec. I'm going to search Denver. I spelled Denver with an M. Oops. We'll have to get Denver. Uh, Denver. <laughs> Den- Den- Denver Airport Murals. Here we go. Oh, yeah. The tunnel systems make no sense. Like, why would an airport need miles of tunnel yeah, systems like, yeah. that are legit? They're there. And they're not public. No. Like, look at this one. Dude, like, the that's miles a good of example. land is definitely just, like, bunkers galore. It's like a Nazi-style sh- soldier, like, carrying, like, looks like, uh, like, Middle Eastern or, like, something. like With a rainbow. People. With a rainbow and a sword and an AK. Like, why would you put that up in the airport? And, like, a ga- gas mask and shit. Like, it's... And there's, uh, like, and then, all like, the... people dying going yeah. in the, and, like... There's like souls being trapped in Mom? some part of it. I need to do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, why is that in? Why would you put that in an airport? It makes no sense. It's like you think airport art is gonna be like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, that's man. in the airport. And it's like you'd think airport art is gonna be like generic, like you know, like just trees and shit, not like like really threatening and po- like apocalyptic images like that. Mm-hmm. To be fair, the only way I can justify this is. Colorado has always been known for being very liberal and being like they're what the first they're the first state, state to legalize weed and all so that like, stuff. Maybe it's just like a, all about being like new age. But and... like that's been there for a while though. Like they built this thing like years. Why years are ago. there like ghouls going into the I don't know distance of the ruined buildings? It's like I don't so, really understand the like who I kind of want like again I'll do this in my own time, but I kind of want to delve into like who made these paintings and like why they were commissioned. Rob, to you were supposed them. to have that ready for today. Yeah, well like. <laughs> That was his whole homework. Well, like, you know, I was just surface level touch now that I am. Yeah, no, that was, you did great work. Yeah. So thank you, Shane. <laughs> I get recognized by. Red I'm going to say half, mask. but I guess I'm the other half in that case. <laughs> so, so the conspiracy theory here is that it's owned by like basically the Illuminati or yeah. Yeah. the new world airport commission, which is probably like an, an alias of the Illuminati. Also, remember to tell hey, this isn't Google that her homepage is said to. It's some like weird ass bootleg website. The fuck? That's when you click homepage. It's not Google. It's whatever that is. It looks yeah. like. Wait, I want to use it. And now we know why they have your phone number. 
Um, like, look, like look at the screen that you goes to when you home it. It's not Google. It's like some, it's a website pretending to be Google. It's kind of sketchy. Got one, it, not see it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. what do you think? Like, why do you think it's set so up the way it is? My though? take is that there's definitely something fishy going on. Maybe not to the extent that's of the most like, generic response. Well, it's like Sometimes not to the extent of that it's, it's an Illuminati headquarters, but like it was built for a reason other than strictly the, the utility of being an airport. Because, like, what's all like, why, are they, why is it so big? Like, it's like a, a capacity of is like 10 times the amount of flight traffic they get in one day. And then all these underground tunnels, which are actual things, someone's like been down there and seen them. And then all this like doomsday, like apocalypse art, that giant blue stallion with red eyes. Like, who thought that was a good idea? Mm-hmm. That Minus stallion's some, messed up. Yeah. Man. The fact that it, it glows red at night as well, which yeah. is creepy. Like why? Like when the you're Denver flying thing, in, you the, see the, the eyes. stallion. I, I don't think that's creepy at all. Like the Broncos, they're things yeah. literally that. Yeah, but that like, why? Why are the why eyes the, red? I, like, that, that, well, that's cares? just an artist thing. It's yeah. a blue stallion. Yeah, the horse thing. Like that doesn't that doesn't bug me. The Denver at all. Broncos. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's fair. But everything else, though, like the tunnels. Like it just makes no sense. Why does an airport need tunnels? Yeah, and the but, land doesn't doesn't even bug me. Maybe when they bought the land, it was cheap, so they bought all of it around. Like, do you know what I mean? That doesn't even. Yeah, but. I, I agree, but the actual airport itself is just humongous. And yeah. that's like what I can't wrap my head around. So it is, you said it's the biggest hub airport, right? The biggest transportation hub in North America, and according it, to that website, which could be, <laughs> <laughs> which also is trying to be Google, but so you never know how legit it is. But. Um, I'm trying to think, like, so if it were commissioned by like a huge Illuminati type organization, like if it's a hub, maybe it's just they wanted it to be like their destination. Well, like, for if bro, anything why happens, Denver? but, but like yeah. why make it so obvious? That's the thing. Is like all that art. If it is meant to be like a apocalypse place, why would they like advertise that? <clears throat> why would they be like we have a apocalypse bunker here? Mm-hmm. They're using reverse psychology. They want you to say why is it so obvious? They're like, oh, it's all bullshit. But yeah. like they're like, fuck, you guys actually Hidden. nailed it. But you're not gonna think <laughs> hidden in plain it. sight. The best, exactly. the best way to hide it. I don't know. Like I think there's definitely like um, some fishy. Going yeah, on. some fishy in it, but it was like it's definitely it was designed to not just be an airport, to be some some kind of like safe haven for the Illuminati people to go when the world ends. Was there any <clears> like <throat> photos of the actual bunkers? And no, stuff I couldn't find any. Oh. So so what's the proof then of like just some know? just some guy said that like they've seen it again. <laughs> it's just some dude saying it, but like. <laughs> He says it's all the blueprints. This is why it's a, compi- this it's is a conspiracy. conspiracy theory, yeah, man. It doesn't have to be concrete. I know, but like, you're like, <laughs> there's proof that it exists. Where's the proof? Yeah, he just... Some guy saw it. it. Yeah. I'm you know going to look it up. You keep discussing this. Yeah, I don't know. I just... Yeah. That's nuts, man. I think it's definitely like some sort of like nuke shelter, if I had to guess. Or like maybe they do experiments with like lizard people and shit. They definitely mm-hmm. had their hands in Malaysia. Malaysia. Yeah. What happened in Malaysia? just <laughs> drop it they just, they just happen to have their hands in there um all right shane hit us with yours chris's research hit us with them hard I said, keep facts. going bro oh. okay so how about that denver international <laughs> airport eh? it's kind of sketchy Yo, i, I had to sprint it, across it once. real yeah. big man they got some good burritos though you guys are, what you guys been there me and senor 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 yeah. it was it was funny so i had to sprint across me and hannah and like i went upstairs grabbed some burritos and we had to literally run through the plane and like as we're like going up the escalator i just see christian with some servant just pushing him across the airport <laughs> he's in his wheelchair i'm like are you fucking kidding i told me? that guy i was just like i can do it he's like no no no, no, no. no. <laughs> just take it christian okay. but they're walking at like a snail's pace <laughs> and me and hannah are like dude we're gonna be late we have to go get food we, and like we didn't even have time we bought the burrito sat down on the airplane ate the burrito mm-hmm. just and attach a rope Christian's to Christian just fucking going by on his wheelchair just attach a rope Shane's to him and just like, drag him Christian I need time to go get a burrito slow this guy down as much as <laughs> yeah. Christian's just like holding on the brakes <laughs> casually yeah. guys like man you're pretty heavy eh Wait, why'd, actually you, the worst... why'd you have an escort because I was in a wheelchair still at the time so with my sprained just, ankle so you so? don't bring a wheelchair on the plane they literally have one waiting for you and yeah. then they drop you at the next plane what so we had like 20 you minutes to ride one of those cars no. Ah, well, once. Wheel- oh, right. In Toronto, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We had like 30 cool. minutes to get from one end to the other, and the airport's fucking huge. So you're telling and me. Our plane literally landed on one far end, and we had to get on the plane at the exact opposite. It was so, <laughs> so annoying. You're telling me they spent so much money on underground bunkers that they couldn't afford a car to travel Christian around. No, and, but they could artwork. afford this dude. It's probably more expensive than the car. The guy probably. was very professional. <laughs> he probably heard us by the hour. He's he not like white gloves. What's your like now? Nah, he would not take no for an answer. I was just like, I was like, oh, uh, Annie's gonna go grab like food, 
like i can just wait for her you can go and he's like no no i'll sit here and he just sat behind me like stared at me <laughs> <laughs> everyone probably thinks he's like your handler or something yeah, yeah that's like, what i think yeah i was like you don't have to wait here like i can take care of myself like i'm not disabled <laughs> This guy, this yes, guy, yes, you, yes, you are, sir. This yes, guy, you are. This guy's probably watching me and like, that ungrateful fuck. I pushed yeah, exactly. him back to the airport. Um, Christian's just like throwing $1 bills at him. Well, he might, maybe he's one of the lizard people. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Could be. Um, Could be. What the fuck, guys? So, and, uh, to go back on the Denver thing, um, a direct quote from their spokesperson said, when they were like adding more construction or whatever, that it's like, though, we're ex- oh, th- though we aren't expanding the bunkers or revamping the lizard lair with this project, we want to have some fun with our construction messaging and embrace the conspiracy theories. And like in all their construction messaging, it's just like under construction or underground tunnels and stuff like that. Like uh, trying to like play like on lizard it. Lizard layer. This, this literally just proves what Drew said. He's like just hiding it in plain like, sight. Ha, ha, totally yeah. not Good real. one. <laughs> so and you, you see this big boring machine coming <laughs> and start yeah. digging a hole. Like. It's just like a tentacle pop up to the floor. <laughs> I feel like though if they, if they had the underground tunnels, there'd have to be... Like, you can get blueprints of buildings. Yeah, like the so elevations like wouldn't, and shit. Wouldn't there be blueprints? Man, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get the legit ones. You'd probably get, they, like, they the, give you the doctor up they ones. Want you yeah. to see. Wait, also, like, so who owns the airport? The New World Airport Commission, whoever the fuck that is. Hmm. I thought airports were all, like, government run, are they not? Uh, Toronto's is privately owned. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Pearson Airport's owned. privately owned. Who's it, who owns it? Pearson. Sure. Pearson, whoever that is. <laughs> Mr. Pearson himself. Lester, no, I have no idea. It's Lester company, B. Pearson. Yeah. Hmm. I had no idea about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, that makes a lot more sense that they could get away with stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that if the U.S. government owned it, it would probably be like either a canceled project or area budget 51. anyways. Or yeah. area 51. Oh, actually, speaking, that reminded me, Um, speaking of the Denver airport and all that stuff, New World stuff, is uh, there is a statue, I guess you can call it, in the U.S. somewhere, which is just like it's a giant obelisk. Okay. And it just has a bunch of text on it of like talking about humanity like as it is now. And where is it where is this thing missouri is that one i don't know just somewhere uh-huh. in the u.s <laughs> um and then so it has it in a bunch of different languages and like all of the sides are covered there's a bunch of ruins around it as well with other texts on there and it's like trying to tell people what society is like and like how to survive and like i guess having instructions for things mm-hmm. to like live um and no one knows who paid for it it's just like an art structure that is there someone paid to make it and it's supposed to be like helping the world in case of a apocalypse cool something like that and i think they said like the only evidence they have is something about like a new world something owning it so like so just some giant like structure with a bunch of text written all over mm-hmm. it the airport with, people made that too. with instructions probably. on like how to survive in society it's probably like post-apocalypse it's probably just like revert back to communism it's probably a russian plan <laughs> <laughs> they planted it <laughs> But like, so make it look old enough <laughs> so it's not like out of the possibility that like some type of new world organization would try yeah. to do something surviving the apocalypse but it, it seems weird that they wouldn't publicly address it i definitely they maybe it's just because we're talking we're, we're talking about conspiracy theories but now the more i think about it there's there's got to be some kind of like behind the scenes organization just like governing all the stuff that we can't explain We'll Correct. get there. Yeah. We will get there. My One of these friend. days. We just need like a like an Edward Snowden, but like on a conspiracy level person to or conspiracy. Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Like how did that not raise more eyebrows? Well, I'm sure it did, but like what Jeffrey Epstein? Yeah. It raised so many everyone. Yeah, like, was... Everyone kinda of said, Oh shit. It was after the fact though. Yeah. Everyone was like, Oh shit, something's fishy. And he, not was, do he, anything was about he, it. he was getting investigated like a decade yeah. ago. And then but it just... took him this long. I don't yeah. know. There's I'm sure people were paid off. I'm sure I don't it's just, I don't know. It makes no sense how, like, so no one was like the, again, forgive me if I, this did happen and then I'm just naive, but like, no one investigated it and no one came to a conclusion that something sketchy happened. And well, there was, they it just took it. so long to figure it all out. And there was no next no, you steps. You mean though, like, like after he died, right? Yeah, like, yeah, investigating his no death. one, like, no one got, like, no one got arrested. There was no, like, yeah, they investigated. They, there's like, they, they determined that it was, wasn't it hanging, but it was like yeah, suspicious. Yeah, they said it was suicide by hanging. But and then the, all that stuff came out about like how he was on suicide watch and he was left alone and then. But the coroner was like, "It's weird because there's like a specific bone that only breaks in your neck if you're like strangled, and like when you you hang, it doesn't break." So um, and yeah. like that specific bone in the neck was busted, and they're like, "Well, like ninety percent of people who get are hung, don't have this bone broken, but this guy does." 
Yeah. So they're like, uh, but yeah. that just fed to the conspiracy. And yeah. the camera's being erased. That, that part's what like, the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> that part's like, like how okay, does no one be on, like, guys. how does no one realize? Well, <laughs> so the whole issue like, is like, are you kidding me? They obviously mm. know, like it's suspicious. <laughs> But what do you do? Like, if you have no like, idea, investigate it. it. Uh, but that, <laughs> there's that, nothing you can that, do. Though. But yeah. at that point, it's like you're investigating yourself almost because it's like, yeah. And that's am, whole, I, am I the corrupt one? <laughs> Wait a <yeah>. second. <laughs> and that's the whole point. Is like, is that they, the people who are investigating are obviously the ones who are involved. So it's like you can't do anything about that. They can like, just destroy all their own evidence. I guess the bottom line is like one scummy person died to save tons of other scummy people. But speaking of true. Steens, Harvey Weinstein. Guilty. You got to. You got to keep. Oh really? What do you, yeah. what do you Guilty call that? Guilty of rape and sexual assault. Hmm. Do you call that indicted when they get like accused? Abducted. Then, abducted. <laughs> abducted to jail. Abducted. Um, so yeah. apparently, some of the more serious charges he wasn't found guilty of, but because that was like that was one of the big questions was like he got accused of how many like hundreds Shit right yeah. so like all you got to really do is couple like, they just got to prove one. And yeah, because one, like, well, some of them are bad enough that it's like he's he's locked up for life now, isn't he? He's, he's locked up too. in like his three million dollar cushy. Mansion. He's on whole, he's on house arrest. I don't know, probably. <laughs> True. Jeez. This other conspiracy theory stars like, oh, it's this really? Oh. Man, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Who knows? There's and, no way he's. Not. And this oh, time he's line? actually he's uh being allocated to the Denver underground tunnels. <laughs> yeah. uh, the first one. Yeah. Toss into the lizards. King King Lizard. Yeah. <laughs> Just fucking, he comes out like in a year from now. He's got scaly skin. I can't <laughs> wait for like all of this conspiracy to actually come true, and then Rob's gonna be like, "I fucking told I all fucking of you." I fucking told you guys. He's getting swarmed by the lizard people. <laughs> yeah. I told you. How, how many lizard toddlers could you fight off if they came? Have you heard that? Toddlers? Question? It's like how many? Yeah. How many toddlers could you? Yeah. Fight? I, oh, this is a great question. Greg. Actually, yeah. How many? If you're in the middle of a field, okay, and you're just getting swarmed by toddlers. So we'll say we'll say four year olds, okay. And all you have is a baseball bat. How many could you fend off? I think it's a matter of exhaustion versus ability. So I'm thinking, ability. like, personally, I'm thinking, like, 10. Because these are big swings. You're going to yeah. get tired real quick. Yeah. And then one's going to get on your back. and be like, what the hell? Get off me. Yeah. One's going to grab the bat. One's going to be on your leg, and you're done. As soon as, as soon as one of them gets the bat, you're fucked. I'd probably exactly. last, like, five. I'm thinking, yeah. Like, are they are they coming, like, one at a time? Are, or they, is like, it like, are they, like, Drew's height, or are they slightly bigger? <laughs> Uh, probably slightly bigger. Are they as distracted as Drew? No, 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 no. They're, they're got one. They're focused on one thing, and that's you. <laughs> so, like, again, I'm trying. I was to... trying to see how long Weinstein was going to jail for. How long is it? Five to twenty-five years. And apparently, he got taken out of the courtroom in handcuffs because the judge was like, "I want this guy in jail now." And then, uh, for as a precautionary measure, he got taken to the hospital on a stretcher, tied down in his suit. And the judge is like, fuck that. As soon as this guy's done with whatever his measures are, like, I want this guy in a prison infirmary. Good. Cool. S fuck that guy. So, Drew, what was the question? Answer us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so, no, Drew. I, I guess, I guess, I guess the, the yes answer. No. No, no. It doesn't. no it doesn't. How many four-year-olds could you fight off? I mean, yes. <laughs> yes. I tried. Four. But again, I'm, I'm saying. Four-year-olds with a bat. I'm trying to visualize it, though. Are they coming one by bat? one? Yeah. I have a hundred. <laughs> I know. No, no. You get way too tired. But the thing is, are they coming like, does it start with like one at a time, then two come, then three, then four? Yeah. Or is it like, no, it, you think, think of like, like the final boss in your fucking video. This is real fucking life, Rob. Yeah, they're all coming at the same time. And just an endless way. See, if it's, if it's well, a big they... horde, if it's a big horde like this, okay, we'll, we'll set it up as like a hole in the fence. So one gets okay. through, but maybe three or four get through at a time. Yeah. It's like hard haul, like Game of Thrones episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you would not last thousands. Thousands. thousands of, You're an idiot. I just had this thing in Game of Thrones. You know that image in Battle of the Bastards when Jon Snow pulls his sword out and there's just all this army coming out. I just see how guys pull out. I think, okay, actually, thinking back on it, so four yields are pretty small. What? I could probably last, like, if it's going through a fence and, like, between like one, to four, the fence, one to four at a time, I could, I'd probably, like... Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this is like a this is we got side track. But before yeah. the before the pie, Shane's just like I made mine up. <laughs> no, no, it's great. I tuned but... back into this bullshit. <laughs> I'd probably say like twenty. Yeah, like twenty third. I don't know. How long ago did they nap? Oh, if they're like, fresh off fresh, a nap, you're fresh fucked. off a nap. And hungry. Dad, uh, too. And hungry. <laughs> and hungry. Yeah. And you have like a pack of like candy in your pocket. Well, again, I too. think it would be the same. Like you, you knock a bunch of bunch around. Like say you get into double digits. You start getting <laughs> tired. 
So that swing doesn't knock the kid down right away. Yeah. And then again, one grabs your leg, one's on your back. I hate one's get... nibbling on your thumb or did, something. Like did Rob did Rob did, did Rob bring cliff bars? No, nothing. Oh, you're he just dead. he just has his baseball bat. I'm trying. Like, I don't want to get into too much detail, but like it also depends where the bat hits too. Like if we're like killing them, I I, I didn't want. I can't discuss this. It's like normally. baby seals. <laughs> no, don't worry. These are like the babies that are kept in the Denver underground. Oh, so they're, yeah. like half, so they're if, quick, if man. If I want for kill shots, I can probably last they're like quick. I'm gonna give myself a thirty. Think of it as like a ninety mile an hour fastball coming at you. Just think every <laughs> every swing like that. It's a, it's just an X. It's not coming back after you. It's just no. bang. Well, that's what I mean. As soon as you can't knock it down, you get a couple in a swing too. Yeah, like a third. Oh, like, you definitely. If, if there's like one here and just like. Hit one of them, they smack heads together. Bang! They're, they're, they're this is going to be our prompted question for the community. Yeah, I don't how many know. kids would you survive? How many toddlers yeah. would you survive an onslaught? Could of? you hit triple digits? I think if I had enough pre workout and I could have Louis. Well, think too. So, <laughs> the, so the fence too. Once one's through, then maybe two. But slowly, the kids are ripping that fence open. Yeah, it's going to start more scaling. and more and more. If Rob I gets like three <laughs> fucking Bautistas. The bad. Yeah. Let's go, boys. <laughs> yeah. If I had a pre workout and I had a. A big fat Louisville slugger on me. I'm yeah. saying like about 75. Rob would swing so hard. It's a wooden bat. Rob would swing so hard on the first kid, the bat would break and be like, oh, fuck. I would just, I would just start stabbing them. <laughs> this conversation feels illegal. <laughs> That's illegal. great. We're talking hypothetically about lizard children, not like From actual the can, you guys, can you guys all just stop stealing my fucking conspiracy? Okay. What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I feel like we need to just go into mines. Okay. No, yeah. what, you can't know. skip. Shane's is next. Yeah. Any un- finishing thoughts on the Denver one? Oh, actually, do you guys think it's true? Like, I think it's. I think parts of it are true. So, do you, okay, so, do you think tunnels underneath yes, the airport? Are true? Yes. yes. Okay, I, I'm like iffy on that because I feel like there have to be some proof Dude, somewhere. somewhere but I you saw them. You have to believe it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Come and on. then um, do Give you think dude. that what what was the, the, the artwork? Oh yeah, does it mean something besides just being fucked? No, I, I, I definitely think the horse is possessed by the devil. Yeah, the no, horse. The, the horse is possessed by the dude that got clubbed by the hoof. <laughs> yeah, that just, dude's in there. Now like, he's just stuck in a metal horse. <laughs> yeah, like, this is my life's work, and this now I'm stuck here. Yeah, so <laughs> well, the eyes are red. He's like, help he's me in, out of here. Yeah. He's in limbo in the form of that horse. Yeah. yeah, he's just chilling. And then as for like the amount of land, I think I, I, nothing. I, is, that that even, just, is that even up for debate? Like they just have the land. Yeah, exactly. The sheer size of it is a little sketch, but but yeah. no other airport in the world has. Think that. of where most but airports are located. They don't have it. And also think about the fact that what Rob said at the beginning. Problem is that they had a perfectly fine airport, and they're just like, all right, we're building yeah, a new they one. Just, they yeah. randomly said we're just gonna scrap. But again, this. for the land, think of where most airports are. Like it's way off to the side of the city. Except for Toronto. Toronto's is heart of the city. It's you can't expand. Like, you can't have all the land. Like think of San Diego's. How would you ever expand that? You yeah, can't. I bet like, if Toronto or if whoever owns it could, they would buy that much land, but they just can't because one, real estate in Toronto is like fucked. Correct. Two, so, there's just no no room for so it. So what if this airport commission just sees Denver becoming an even bigger hub for everything. more than yeah. just flight, and they're like, we want to mark our land now. Maybe, it's a, maybe it's they a can very... sell it off to other things, rebuild well, again. Well, obviously it's being used as farming. I'm pretty sure because there was yeah, it was just fields. Corn. Yeah. But okay, so then do you think that's good money? Corn. Goddamn blueberries. I eat a lot of corn. Mm-hmm. 12K for every four days. Let's go. So do you guys think then that... What is that, uh, Stardew or something? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, get, so, I got to start up from blueberries. <laughs> Fuck. Assuming that whole, like, they just think Denver's going to become a huge city. Do you think that's why they made or invested so much, like, in terms of building the whole airport up and making it so big? No. Like, they think that's going to be a bigger hub than I it is now. I think it's literally this plot of land is for sale for X amount of dollars. And Might they're well like, buy it. I'm buying this plot it of land. It could just be an investment. It's it's right. like the or these two decision. plots of lands are for sale. Or it's like, this plot of lands for sale, you buy it, and then this guy who's beside you is like, eh, I'll sell mine for that price too. But is you it also it. the airport itself? Like the actual building no, is like, bigger than usual? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The building so like, itself is Why is that building so big? Because they had the land. But like that's, it, that's still, right. no, that's still very You're planning expensive. to grow. You're playing Civilization Five. Okay. okay. It's the start of the game. Yep. You see you can buy a tile for 20 gold. Do you have a reason to buy it? No, you just want to be bigger. Yeah, you buy guy, the but time on time, he, he's just bad at Civ. This is stupid. <laughs> that's literally just land. You don't buy that tile. <laughs> you wait the one turn. You expand into said tile with growth. And yeah, you idiot. And like, so <laughs> point aside, <laughs> that's, just, that's just land. Like, but why would you actually build the building that big? Because that's expensive. Because you have the land. You like, can't I think down. they said on average now universities are costing like $700 per square foot. So imagine an airport. That's fucked, first of all. Ah, it's less. I could buy a whole climbing wall for that. <laughs> but like, so like, you could pay off six months of my car insurance with that. 
Imagine how much the airport would be. Same. That's a lot of money. Yeah. And it was a multi-level airport. Trillions of dollars. Yeah. Probably. Aye, not to mention underground. It was a pretty we busy don't place, know, though, don't honestly. Those yeah. tunnels go. Well, we were there. Most of the seats were taken. It was a pretty bumping place. It's true. It's, 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 yeah. It was under construction while we were there as well. <laughs> it feeds in. Now I wish I stepped outside. All right. <laughs> you would never been allowed back in. <laughs> yeah, we'll, fair, we'll have time fuck. to circle back to Rob when it comes to me. Shane, what's your conspiracy theory? <laughs> what do you think it is? Big Pharma, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but the question is, do you think Big Pharma... <laughs> but in all serious. <laughs> yeah, do you think they... they? So you have billions of dollars in research, right? Do you think they hide results, like they hide cures to things so that they can continue to make money? Here's, 110%. here's my here's my no conspiracy theory branching off of that. I see. Let's yeah. go. They, Bad for business. They um they basically they have there's they think of every charity that donates money to it, blah blah blah. It's a good cause, but yep. like, we're talking billions of dollars being invested every year, even every quarter into like research, product development, blah blah blah. Yes. There's no, like, you can't tell me they haven't found a way to cure things like the common cold, the, the headaches. But the common cold isn't something you can cure. Well, well as, it far evolves, as, as far it as we know. Like, they, no, because it, like, yeah. It's it, constantly evolving. Like, there's no, but, but all, all there's, viruses there's, no, there's no definite yeah. right or, or like wrong a, answer. a cancer, well, like a specific a cancer. Why can't you cure, I don't know, bladder cancer, yeah, for example? It's like, like, there's, and like the thing is. That, <laughs> that's all I got. Big pharma. <laughs> the big pharma makes all their money off over-the-counter stuff that you can just walk in and get. Ibuprofen. Um, like. Cold medication, like back pain things, like just kind of random trivial issues. There, I I would almost guarantee that there's a way to, that there's like one, not maybe one, but like a few magic concoctions <laughs> they've created that can solve these trivial issues. Correct. But they just say, oh, are we really trying to not? Are we? Really, do we really need to stop selling Tylenol? So you, you so this? you think it's true? They do yeah. hide. Stuff. Like maybe not so much like for the bigger ones, like AIDS and stuff like that. Yeah. But. Um, Man, think about all those all those articles you see where they're like, "We found a cure for this," and everyone in the comments is always like, "Oh, like doesn't matter. It has to go through all this testing, yeah. and nothing ever comes of it because they it's tested like, because it. they, they turn the person to a fucking goat. Uh, <laughs> shit, dude, we shouldn't use this. Or they shit, just he can't speak English anymore. It. No, okay. So no. you so you also think so you also think that they hide stuff. Big pharma is real. I don't believe that at all. So I don't believe it either. So I I have a few friends who actually like went to school. One of them is Big Pharma School. (laughs) Rest in peace to your friends. One of them is actually (laughs) I think he's going for his PhD and he's gonna become like (laughs) PhD in Big Pharma. (laughs) He's like gonna become some type of researcher or like doctor or something. I don't know. But he I I asked him about this because I hadn't seen him forever. I was just like, what do you think about all these conspiracy theories? He's like, it's such fucking bullshit because so the whole thing argument of like, oh, why can't they find just a cure for cancer? It's because there's like 500 different cancers. Correct. And each one has like would need a different cure. It constantly, it can't, that's again, I started saying cancer is one of these, it constantly evolves while it's in you. And it's also, all you can do is beat it with like chemo and stuff. They need need an AI medicine. But yeah, like, like so machine learning or something to like keep up with. Yeah, I'm being serious. Like, like yeah. that's the, fair. Actually, there's, yeah. there's enough technology out there that can like learn and adapt to like whatever is like affecting. I you. feel like the now we're is, just getting into the, nanotech. The human yeah. body and cancer is so complex that I don't think there is enough right now. Well, not there yet, but maybe they're working on it. And just no one knows. Yeah, they that just gotta thing. tap so, into Area 51 and check check your metachlorian count. So the <laughs> some Star Wars. The big issue. What? The the big issue <laughs> with all that. Force. Ooh. <laughs> not again <laughs> with the whole like oh maybe they're hiding it. results you guys have to remember that in the pharmaceutical like empire there are millions of employees mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. you're trying to tell me that out of the millions of people some that you personally know probably i don't know anyone okay so that i personally know <laughs> if, if i didn't know them not anymore yeah. would all completely be okay. quiet about that and no, would I would never once say a word. Like, that's just yeah, unbelievable. Look what happens to whistleblowers. You get expedited to another city, town, country. Yeah, yeah. You're not allowed to come back. You get publicly ridiculed. So the, so the way I look at it is if they were to cure... I, have, I have the cure for cancer. They ridicule so you. So here's the thing. If, they, if they're <laughs> like... What's his... No, or, Edward Snowden. He's like, everyone's spying on you. And the public's like, fuck that guy. Nope. The I mean, the public wasn't like that. The, the public, public was like, loved him. oh, this guy's yeah, a hero. Yeah. The government's like, fuck that guy. Yeah, Drew was, was the only one who's just like... <laughs> The government. My Illuminati is getting he, blown over. He literally <laughs> ran away because the government was like, "Well, you come back here, you're obviously going to jail for the rest of your life." Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. He did the public a favor, and Big Fire owns the government. True, <laughs> but um, 
Yeah, big I, I agree with Christian. There's no and way they're hiding airport. this. Yeah, yeah the, like it's way too big of a thing that they could hide. And also, so if they okay, so if, you don't think it can happen on a smaller? No, scale? Okay, so if they were to just say, "Hey, we cured one type of cancer," okay, I don't know, it doesn't matter what it Ball, is. Or yeah, they cure one type of cancer. <laughs> they say, "Hey, we cured this." Why would they? They would just monetize it. Yeah. Like because like, so, they're so fucking greedy. Yeah. I, I do agree. Like they are probably the greediest group Fair. of people ever. The, do you guys remember that news story? That one guy who like bought out this the rights to some really cheap medicine. Yeah, and then and it's the jacked the price by like yeah. a thousand That is so percent. stupid. Yeah. I hate how people are angry about that. All he did was jack up the prices for insurance companies. So insurance companies had to pay more, well, people had a which then were, trickles were... down. But that's yeah. fine. But if, <laughs> if you didn't have insurance and you needed the thing, he gave it to you for a dollar. Correct. But you're just trying to fuck but, over insurance but if you're But if you have shitty insurance, you're paying out of pocket hundreds Correct. of dollars and for the thing it is, is, when you were before. No, that's so I'd understand if he's trying to make... for free if you don't have insurance. No, but I don't think that's true. People were paying... 100%, look it up. There, is, there was an outrage because people were paying too much for it when they were... The, 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 they were people were going to getting it for free to having to pay thousands of dollars for it. Correct. And that's the, why there was an outrage. The thing too is, is like I'd understand if you're saying, so say it costs 50 bucks and they raised it like 75. Sure, you know, you make a bit more money. Yeah. They went from like 10 bucks... To costing like a thousand, like there's no yeah. and also there's like no the insurance that. companies I think were stopping covering it because they're like no we it, can't afford it yeah well they can but they, so like it was my understanding that they then got it for free I don't think that's true because he was bragging been, about well, okay, so, it that would have been a happy so ending that, but that might have happened after it blew up to be fair maybe this guy had just been death threats and like people coming to his house what was his kill name you. Do you have Martin Scorsese no that's the director no it was. <laughs> Martin Screlly. Martin yeah, it's something, something like, like that. Though. Martin something. I remember. Being, I, oh, had, I, I had to do a case study on it for cl- for one of my classes. Yeah, because he bought that. Uh, oh, that album. You probably know more than I do. Oh. I read an article once. I mean, he's in jail now, so it doesn't really matter. Like, but <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I, I don't even know what the. That was that was for. Uh, he he had some like sketchy things going on with his hedge fund at one point. That's, That's the definition of this guy has a definition of buy low, sell high. Like what an asshole. We had a hedge it's fund. Sketchy. Just yeah. tell you pretty much everything. What okay tangent? What is a hedge fund? I have no idea. Like it's, I hear it all the time, but I have no idea what it it's is. Just, I, I, I don't necessarily know how one runs, but I know that it's it's very not transparent, and they don't have to like report anything. It's basically. like a predatory like financial and they group, just they just it? go like heavily into options and like risky different plays. And so they're, they're in, like an investment group that right. only deals with like really volatile investments but because shit. of the lack of transparency some of them can go down a sketchier path and then it's harder so we're to talking find like money laundering and insider trading type shit so more mm-hmm. so insider trading okay, type yeah. shit. just to answer the thing originally as far as wikipedia shows he did not ever offer a cheaper alter- alternative the price went from a hundred or one dollar and fifty cent per pill to thirty dollars per pill and they had to take <laughs> 10 to 15 per day <laughs> Holy well, fuck. I'll just go fuck myself then. So I think, Help so yourself out the yeah. then, yeah. not until fuck two, that guy. Not until two years later was there a cheaper alternative introduced by another market. And, and you know, know and those, dollar. Dollar. those pills, guess what? You know what happens if you didn't take them? You turn into a lizard person. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Stop it. <laughs> Wait, I, I don't know. Overall for that, I don't think it's possible. Like it's, just, it's far too big of a scale to possibly hold down. And also, like you said, there's so much money in the actual treatment. Because people, oh, yeah. I, when I talked about this on stream, people were like, oh, but they make so much money from chemo. Why would they ever want to introduce a cure? Because they could make because more. They, because they can charge for the cure. Yeah. Like, and now you do agree, cancer. eventually, okay, everyone's healthy. Like everyone, but like that, we're not even, we're nowhere near that. But there's yeah. also always going to be new people coming into the world who need yeah. the cure. Once they, Correct. Like, I don't know, it's just. I, I still wonder if there's like new diseases like appearing, you know what I mean? Or if like, I, well, yeah, one's COVID-19. wiping through the world right now. Coronavirus. <laughs> That like I thought that was like just renamed or something Brand else. New. I thought it was SARS. Brand new. No, no. coronavirus okay, so it's like, is a it's type like, of virus. It's, it's like, like the common cold is a coronavirus. Yeah, it's like two viruses, like SARS and what was the other one? Um, that came together. Mers. Yeah, it came oh, together. Fuck, so it's really? like a stronger version of both those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Middle Eastern respiratory mm-hmm. symptoms Damn. or some shit. I thought it was like just SARS, but like. I almost almost said rebranded. That's terrible. SARS, it's, but like re. It's SARS, it's We're SARS making plus. a comeback as the <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> SARS was a coronavirus, also. Yeah, coronavirus is like the broad term. And why is it called coronavirus? It's, it's just it's just the type of. Yeah. It's just what now it's called. What is it called now? Uh, COVID nineteen. Yeah. Did now it's got its real name. Is the official name did from you, the world. Did you guys see the Corona stock and everything went down because yeah. of the? Did thing? you see the markets today? No, it happened. <laughs> everything went down. Well, everything. Well, so like it was hitting China, so the the markets went down a bit. And then the last like week hasn't been blowing up in Korea now. 
Yeah. So I've, that's another some, massive hit to the market. Going from Montreal to Vancouver just just uh, was diagnosed. He went from Montreal to Vancouver on Valentine's Day. When uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not leave. <laughs> and he was sick. Uh, <laughs> so there's more coronavirus cases in Canada. Sorry, what was I looking up? Not sure. <laughs> Fuck. What were you looking up? I don't know. I don't know. Shit. You said COVID nine. Oh, market. All right. Anyway, do we do, do we have anything else on this? I think well, I don't I think, think so. it's true. One one thing I also want to add is that there have been cases of people who are high up in like the pharmaceutical companies also getting like cancer or their parents dying of cancer. So like. If you believe that they would be willing to hold back these cures, like why would why would they do that? It makes no sense. Their parents would die. They are dying, and they're still holding it back. Makes no sense. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that is that like makes obviously, sense. if not a single one of them ever died of cancer, then you'd be like, okay, there's a little suspicion. Yeah. But there, there, there has to. <laughs> they, they had only... a big pharmacist like 180 years old. Everyone's like, <laughs> wait a second. It's like, they've been around since World War One. <laughs> they only hire executives who has no uh, genetic. <laughs> <laughs> World War One was like. Less than a hundred, no, a hundred years we were ago. We literally so. just talking to Hannah before this, and she was like, "Oh, my grandma was like her her birth. She's like ninety in like something, twenty three or something. She was born in nineteen twenty three. So she was a part of all that. Well, she was. That's too late for World War One. World War One was, so, I think, thirteen to seventeen. So Hannah's yeah. grandma's on to something with big pharma. <laughs> yes, but like she, she found the fountain of youth. She's on the all board right. of directors. But yes, being from World War One would not make you like eternal. <laughs> fine, they've been around since the War of say seventeen eighty three. Or the fuck yeah. I was like, fine, they've been around since World War Two. <laughs> <laughs> they've been around since tuscan raiders roam the earth yeah, yeah i don't know I, I don't think there's any stock in that like that's the one conspiracy theory that i just immediately it makes ignore. zero sense i think this there's a little bit of like the like i think a lot of I, a, the, a lot of the conspiracy is just confused with greed i like the i creativity. really do it's the what? Just, their creativity uh, then uh, yes. the one thing though is like i do think that maybe not like bigger diseases again but like the smaller things tylenol blah blah most of those are placebo i feel like uh yeah i think it's like, i think there's like a they're slightly addictive because like i don't know they numb the pain yeah well like well because we all know people well, are probably addicted to them. opioids yeah it's just like it's a it's a legal they, opioid yeah they have a medical purpose like my, I guess my so. friend Graham, but he's saying that he thinks that they don't have medical like not purpose. all like i don't know sometimes i feel like it's just your headache is gonna go away and you just take a pill so you I, think they just like pop out placebos like, I, yeah, but you could, for lack of a better but phrasing, like, yeah. If you take, like, chemistry in grade right. 10, they Fuck had yeah, us, like, good phrasing. test us on Tylenol. Like, we, we would test that shit. I'm just saying, man. That's my take on so, it. So, Rob, what's your take on vaccines? <laughs> uh, I'm an anti-vaxxer. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm going to, like, if and when I have kids, I'll get vaccinated, for sure. My man. If like, and when I have kids, I'll get vaccinated for sure. <laughs> this fucking guy. If it, if and when I have if I if and when I have kids, me. if and when I have kids, I'll pinch myself first and then I'll take them to the vaccine lab. When I have kids, I'll Rob's vaccinate like, my pets. Rob's like inside. He's like, I'm never gonna have fucking kids, so I'm never getting vaccinated. <laughs> Fuck these guys. I'm gonna spread as much as I can to the world. <laughs> he was actually patient zero for the coronavirus. Man, yeah. did your parents ever have chicken pox parties? No, I did. What? I did get chicken I heard pox. Of them, though. Oh, like to get your kids to get your to kid them. exposed yeah. to it, so then they don't get shingles later. It's like if one kid has chicken pox, like it's like fuck, get that, get my son a play date. Sarah, Sarah got chicken pox, and then she had shingles like two years ago. <laughs> what is she? I feel like I feel like it, you. It's like it, this like bubbly whoa. red skin, and it's disgusting. Whoa. It's 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 literally chicken pox, but you can only get shingles when you're an adult. I'm not it's not it's that. not just chicken, but like it's it's worse. It's an evolute, but yeah, but like it's it fucking is fucking disgusting. It's also like literally pox. red blistery skin that every time you touch it, it's like it irritates it, and it's really painful. You can oh. die. From and hers it too. was like on her, like I guess it would be like where her bra strap sat. So it was just she's like, this is the worst thing ever. So um, how do you cure that? There's like ointments and stuff. It yeah. cures. It, it, what kills you is when old people get it. Uh, it just, well, just kills them. So it's like yeah. COVID nineteen. Yeah, I can't deal with like <laughs> blistery red skin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right, we can okay. put this. We Jeez. can put this conspiracy theory to rest. Yep. It's not right. true. Can we get mine out of the way? I so, wonder what it is. <laughs> so, like my friends here have explained. <laughs> Uh, my conspiracy theory of choice is that reptilian overlords <laughs> rule, rule the earth, uh, determine everything. It ties in both of yours very nicely. Uh, they could be synonymous with the Illuminati and reptilian one overlords. One thing that I saw looking up Rob's is Denver was putting up those uh, propaganda posters, um, basically saying that it was the lizard people's lair. 
So that's what I said like ten minutes ago. Yeah, but I didn't know if you like had seen that or if you were just saying that because you were trying to be funny that mine was lizard people. <laughs> no, that was <laughs> but it's literally a, like an extra conspiracy theory that the lizard people that rule the earth live in the Denver airport tunnels. Um, so <laughs> basically, <laughs> what kind of lizards are we talking? Like iguanas and shit? They're, no, they're like shape shifting lizards that. So they look like you and I, but really they're lizards. And they all hold positions of power, and then like slowly pull the strings of politics and uh, the economy. Um, so hold on, origins, He's blah blah blah. Who cares? <laughs> origins. Who this cares? This is why he can't go outside in the cold. Um, this explains a lot. This is why he always gets hurt because they're fragile. Oh my I'm, god! I'm trying to find. Uh, <laughs> you think if he could this, shape shift, he'd shape shift into someone this bigger? This is why he can only focus on one thing because his mind is always focused on the political on, spectrum. On, that on, is on ultimate world domination. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm trying to figure. Out, I'm this is why to... he voted conservative. Oh yeah. my god! Right. <laughs> List of reptilian humanoids. What? <laughs> I, I want it. There's. I know Hillary Clinton's on that list. I know. Yeah, but, and Bill. They're both oh, on there. Shit. They made it. <laughs> do, do lizards like how do they reproduce do eggs, they have, eggs yeah so they do they you know yeah yeah and they, then they have an egg well i don't know some animals that have eggs they usually like the what the female just lays an egg and then the male i don't know i've never had lizards in um rim world so i'm not sure <laughs> i'm pretty sure you just inseminate the egg i don't think you inseminate the female well okay i'm gonna get lost in that how do you inseminate an egg i don't know I think, oh, like they spray like pheromones on it. Like I know that's how oh, yeah, but like, so yeah, fish yeah. do it. I think they spray like their pheromones all over the eggs or something. Yeah. I don't know. So you can tell some, me I have like, <laughs> fucking shit them. on it. I believe Just it. Rob Basically, goes outside and he's, there's like he's got like a carton of eggs. He's pissed all over them. <laughs> Give me a girlfriend. <laughs> like no, that'd be my daughter. What am I saying? <laughs> Fuck that. I mean, you are you are an Alabama <laughs> fan, right? So oh, those two no. go hand in hand. I'm just going to delete the last 30 seconds from my memory bank. <laughs> so basically, the the creator of this theory, his name is David Icke. And he used to be name. a very popular... I, I watched an eight-minute video on this last night, so I'm basically right. an expert. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I'll say. He, he, he used to Ike be Taylor. like very popular on TV. <laughs> and then he got into politics a bit, and he reappeared one day wearing this like neon pastel jump shoot, jumpsuit on TV. And basically, like, told the crowd that he was God, and he was he was reborn and walking among Earth. This guy was like perfectly sane up until this point, too. Well, obviously and then, not. Uh, <laughs> and the, the crowd was like laughing at him, and like I watched the interview, and he's like, "Yeah, Jesus was laughed at too, but uh, here I am." And the guy's like, "Well, they're laughing at you, not with you." He's like, ah, "It doesn't matter. I'm Jesus, basically." <laughs> anyway, so this guy believes the reptilian um, overlords came from the constellation Draco, and uh, Draco, Draco. Play Draco. Draco and, and and Malfoy. Yeah. Hold yeah, so on. Give me a sec for a list to. here. Which, by the way, Annie said she was laughing her ass off last week when she heard you do the impersonation for that kid dying in the goblet of fire that's she, my boy <laughs> she was like it's spot on um, cedric diggory it's a classic rest in peace yeah i had to take my hat off but then my jive gym pay your respect so yeah it's quite okay. the list there drew Just give me a second Press on the list, folks. touch touch the casket you know what would have been nice if uh if drew had his stuff ready yeah like <laughs> the rest of us all right there all i had to do was say big pharma and i'm done you guys literally at the at the very end of the last podcast you're like oh yeah shane's just gonna do this one like, yeah you're right done <laughs> and it was still better thanks than <laughs> <laughs> all right all right they count among their number queen elizabeth George I, w. I believe that one. George, That's fair. She looks like a fucking lizard. <laughs> oh, okay, come on. Still George would. W. Bush, Henry Kissinger, Kissinger. Don't know who Kissinger, he is. Bill I and, know the name. I don't know. Bill who. and Hillary Clinton. Yep. Confirmed uh, reptiles. Bob Hope, and it's not on this list, but I've also seen on another one Barack Obama. Okay, okay. that just doesn't make sense. So here, well, you got to add diversity and inclusion. Barack Obama is just too good of a guy to be mm. a reptile. Correct. So, That's, so hear me out. <laughs> or maybe what everyone wants me to think. She, man, no. You're playing into their trap. So here, hear me out on this part. If the whole point of the lizard overlords is that they play <laughs> with the politics, right? Reptilian fucking overlords. Yeah. Well, sorry, I believe it. Yeah. Um, so if the, if the whole point of the conspiracy theory is that they control politics, Everything, why did Hillary man. Clinton Everything. lose in the 2016 election? It was all part of the grand plan. So she can win next time. She lost on purpose. She's not even running this time, is she? Yeah, but my boy Donnie's also a lizard. 
I think it was all a part of the Donald grand Trump plan. Could be a lizard. Like, when you think about it, kind of came out of nowhere, randomly gained a giant following and traction in the presidential race. Kinda lizard people, the greatest oh. political conspiracy ever created. All right, ever Drew, created. if I wanted to read an article right here at the table, uh... yeah, we'd pull up an article. <laughs> this, this was the beginning of the lizard race. Jesus Christ! Who is that? Is that fucking? <laughs> is that Frankie Muniz? I don't know. It's a little boy. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay, we're gonna move on from yeah, Drew's because he's not prepared. Yo, not true. Okay, Come not on. true. And they live in and they live in Rob's conspiracy theory. It's cohesive. Live, That's true. It's that part. Rob's is true. <laughs> Yours is just. It's just garbage. Frankie Muniz holding the toy lizard. It's not <laughs> Frankie. Yeah, it is. Okay, so to end it all off, my second conspiracy theory. They're behind the Freemasons and the Illuminati. All right, next. Um, <laughs> was okay. which house do they Thank belong you. to? <laughs> Um, Gryffindor <laughs> so my next conspiracy theory my is <laughs> one that actually has some founding you guys know about the Roswell UFO crash right yep. oh god here yes. we go another, another okay. bullshit theory <laughs> not as bad as that, that was real they got Thor's hammer from that so the conspiracy theory is that obviously <laughs> is that sounds way Avengers? faker than mine it's a documentary yeah so obviously it's that the UFO crash there not mm-hmm. arguing that part but assuming that that part is true a big assumption the the theory is that to say about assuming because of that ufo <laughs> crash technology on earth like skyrocketed so didn't we already talk about this we have on another podcast um but so I there forget, to be honest this is a nice refresher there is if you look at like the trends <laughs> of technology you see like it going like steady increase increase and then after that crash huge spike and a lot of things came out after that that we had no as far as we're aware no prior research on and they just kind of blew up such, such as, as yeah but Kev- kevlar technological that that advances are an exponential yeah. function well, what is Kev- isn't it just like the bulletproof best? Just armor bulletproof material that you can yeah. wear that was, that didn't exist like before bulletproof vests or kevlar yeah i know that but like why is that so big <laughs> because so before that people they would stop just fucking bullets yeah people would just die <laughs> if they got All shot right. they got they died <laughs> Like they still don't have a full Kevlar body suit. Like you're still yeah, gonna shoot. Yeah, they the, have Juggernaut the, suits. The bomb squad wears them, so yeah. they don't die from bombs. I didn't know that Juggernaut ah. suits were real. Actually, yeah, they're real. Yeah, man. Pretty fucked. I didn't know that. All right, anyway. okay. You think you send like a police officer in a bulletproof vest to go defuse a bomb? If I someone's defusing, like if it blows up, they're dead. Dude. Doesn't matter what fucking Not suit you wear. You wear that suit. That, okay, that's sure, a nuclear man, explosion. Yeah, Majority sure. of the lethality. If it's a fucking landmine. You're dead. No matter no, what, you're dead. The main reason no bombs way. are lethal is the fragmentation. Yeah, and so the armor stops all that like metal scrap from hitting you. Yeah, but the impact. Like, the like impact. Are, I was gonna say your 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 brain's gonna turn to fucking jelly. I wish if a on this grenade one. goes off, it's not like well, huge, a huge fair, fireball. That that's a fragmentation grenade. Because yeah, it's fine. literally designed for metal Frag shards. Grenade. But like, if it was like a fire explosive one then sure the suit wouldn't help you but that much you're but... saying like if i toss a frag grenade and it was like in the hallway there and you had that suit on you'd be fine yeah because it's fragmentation there's no actual like fire or anything would in a there fragmentation? be like a concussion effect yeah like the yeah it, you the, might get the wind so knocked at you the blast. but it's gonna absorb it kevlar too. has your like brain's gonna fucking blow up it's like your head <laughs> no, but you have it all over it. your head like it's gonna absorb that force somehow it's like when you fall on the ice with a helmet like you might be concussed but you're not dead yeah, yeah but you're not, you're not falling you're, a grenade exploding at your feet but it's still it's like a the similar force. F- it's the impact yeah i, I know what you're saying the shrapnel is what kills you by lodging itself in you blah 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 <laughs> But like the, or going through, yes. Yeah, the impact. Like, still, a grenade is designed to explode. explode. It's like the concussion. Like I, I will just agree to disagree. Yeah. But the, like the concussion would be the equivalent of you falling with a helmet. But like you're standing there, you're standing there, and then the wave hits you. Yeah. But you have the armor on, so like it's gonna decrease it a bit. It's like standing behind a wall. Yeah, I guess. Like it's gonna like absorb. There's no guesswork here. <laughs> I agree. To, I agree. It, literally, it literally is fact. But I agree to disagree. If okay. someone were to drop okay. a grenade right don't. there, and you had the suit on, he you, didn't. You You're dead on, for sure. You could jump on the suit, or you could jump on the grenade with the suit and survive. What the fuck? <laughs> but like, you Yo, get me a video. We'll talk about this you later. We'll talk about this. You're not, not mind... gonna hurt, but you're not yeah, gonna die. You're gonna survive. That's the whole point. What it's the like fuck. Like, anyway, like a Kevlar, yes. a Kevlar vest won't. There's you no, don't need to. There's no, any, there's no next. <laughs> you don't need to describe this anymore. Okay. I, I, so, give me a video later. That's all I gotta so, say. So the next piece of technology that came out after the Roswell crash was flashlights, mic- micro transistors. <laughs> okay. It went from a room like the size of my apartment <laughs> having like two gigabytes of data to then being USB sticks having like twenty gigs of data. 
Okay. Man, but te- so, technological advances are an exponential function. They are. Drew, so that's, it's like processes. That's that's the ar- Drew, argument would you against. Shut it. the fuck up and let him finish his thing. <laughs> sure. So obviously the conspiracy Sorry. theory is that they took that technology from the UFOs. <laughs> yeah. And then just like reverse engineered it and figured it out and then used it. It is a crazy huge leap in uh, technology, but that has happened in the past. Yes. So um, we're leap years. Never mind. <laughs> leap years. Sorry. <laughs> I'll sit on my hands again. Yes, they discovered leap years <laughs> with the UFO. Like this. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pull up the list for the others because I can't remember the last two, but one of them was laser cutting tools. None of that exists. Like, So you know how they cut like the metal sheets and stuff out of lasers? That didn't exist. So aliens were responsible for William Osmond's YouTube channel? I guess so. None of you guys sure. watch them, but like, no. that's a really good joke. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Not that's why it's just why one guy there is slapping his knee. <laughs> fucking great time yeah, right good now. One, Drew. <laughs> um, you guys keep vamping while I try to find it. There's a list. I kind of agree. I kind of think it's just like things happen. For example, when they discovered how to like move water around with like aqueducts and stuff. Yeah. All think of a sudden, it, a huge leap. You know, I, like the leap just happen, takes, but it but takes like, a spark. Think of Stardew Valley. You, you, you. I don't play it. You but. figure out how to get iridium bars. All of a sudden, you can get slime hutches. You can get slime and cute like. It just opens up a world of possibilities. You got those, and then you can get this, this, this. It's like it's, it's a like a example. fucking tree. It's a great. It's like Factorio. When you spend the time doing research, you research something. The and same it just, goddamn example. No, it isn't. Because oh, you God. have access to those bars day one if you wanted to work for it. No way. Yes, you do. You no can way. have it by spring one. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, yeah. 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 Not on quarter speed. Oh. All right, continue. Okay. So the other two were fiber Fashions. optics. Okay. Didn't exist at all. And then all of a sudden came out, which is like where light bounces through a plastic tube to transmit data. And the other one was night vision. Um, <laughs> no, it's just like, oh. Do you want me more to explain fiber optics? <laughs> I get it. It's basically like, imagine oh, I get it. <laughs> imagine a plastic tube. Yeah. Bro, he And then if you put a laser it. through it, it, no matter what, how it's angled, it'll always bounce through the tube and reach the end yeah. because it's glass. And then... <laughs> You just turn it on and off. Light bulb rap- moment. You just turn it Rob's on and like, off yeah, rapidly, <laughs> and that transmits like one and zeros, like bytes. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Man, and this goes through. this this UFO they found must have been sick. It's got laser cutting tools. It's got well, sick Wi Fi. What's what's awesome about this? <laughs> what's awesome about this? Uh, That's how they website can... <laughs> that I'm reading it from is like they're like oh, uh, Kevlar, I will Twitch stream from inside. Kevlar was harvested from the aliens' bodies because their skin was so tough. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, this... that's their proof. Well, see, they thought it was their body, but really it was just a vest. Yeah, Isn't just it basically just like a Kevlar. carbon fiber, yeah. like, meshed together a in a certain way? Kevlar? Yeah. Kevlar is like concrete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The like aliens said, showed up. like a concrete mesh? The aliens were like, <laughs> this started two things. We created Kevlar because the alien showed up in his bomb suit. So when his <laughs> when his UFO crashed, he just stood up and was like, what? Well, I'm fine, man. It's like, this you know, he's like, I'm concussed, but the shrapnel was all absorbed. Exactly. Exactly. When the good. lizard landed, he shedded his juggernaut suit, took the form of a human, and exactly. then went straight to the White House. And he was just like, we have to build these giant juggernaut suits. Okay, they can, can, we, save you. can we come back to my theory for one no. second? No, 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 Christian's turn. These shapes. <laughs> do you think they like like say 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 uh queen elizabeth was already the queen okay did they come down as they scan like her a commoner and work their way up or did they just be like or maybe like, i'm now queen or elizabeth. realistically the theory that would they hold would be the queen, the queen they yeah took, they took, took her, her place yeah, yeah the okay. queen croaked right. yeah, yeah. they're like transformers like you know bumblebee yeah. in the first movie <laughs> just no, scans what Kari wants to be in he's bam he's exactly. a fucking sick camaro I'm like, dude, just gotta think. Yeah. Okay, tangent. God, you just gotta think yeah, through yeah, yeah. Tangent. Like, Transformers could have been tangent. any oh, cars. They, they could have been any cars they wanted to be. Yeah, yeah. And that one guy comes down, he's like, scans one thing, he becomes a fucking toaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, like, there's an Xbox. Yeah. Like, bro, this... you could have been like a fucking, like, pickup truck or something. Yeah, there's been an oven at least. Yeah. yeah there's a toaster. You just, you just, like, float down, you get the first thing you touch, this guy touches a fucking toaster. <laughs> Just the worst lethal, lethal Transformers the world's ever seen. Yeah. The Black and Decker 5000. <laughs> it's perfect. Okay. Burning enemies to a crisp with a four minute timer. Um, <laughs> burning enemies to a nice toasted finish. So the last one, last technological advancement is night vision. Uh, allegedly, according to this website, in 1947, the US did have night vision. 
but they were giant pieces of like huge telescopes mounted on top of tanks like massive <laughs> so and then <laughs> and then like a few years later i think it was like two or three years later they came out with night vision binoculars mm-hmm. binox uh, so it's like just a... so like and then uh, according to the website that says that that's at least a 50 year advancement okay and technology that that was done in they said vietnam when was vietnam is this vietnam? person the doctor uh, 80, 20, like, what's, what's 90s. Credential? who's making these claims it was not 90s. 80s isn't it like 70s. 75 so 70s so that was like a 20 year gap between or 30 year gap and it, they said it's a 50 year technological gap okay so, like oh, they, so, so what's your take so your crazy. take what's your take yes or no um assuming that the roswell crash did happen i would say yes like a lot of these technological technological advances do line up that's way a too giant conveniently. assumption mm-hmm. though to an like, alien thing well I, I do believe jail or aliens overall do exist yeah me yeah. too Just, i'm not sure if they've ever been to earth or not mm-hmm. like I, if you know how big like spaces and you can say there's no such thing as other life forms and yeah like, that's kind of ridiculous it's fucked. yeah but um i would say that i do believe like probably some form of alien technology has come to earth in some capacity i don't think it's as advanced as everyone thinks it is iphones no <laughs> no we said like technology advancements not taking us back oh uh, yeah because mr google pixel over here you're mr apple <laughs> yeah that's so good it could be in a piece of I'm technology. I'm Mr. White. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so like I do think some on some level, some type of alien technology has reached Earth. I don't think it would be too distinguishable from what we have. And mm. that would mean that people wouldn't be suspicious of it. But I don't think that like a UFO sporting technology thousands of years in the future from us crashed and that we harvested it. Mm-hmm. What do you, what's your take, <clears throat> Rob? Well, I'm going to kind of pull up go on a bit of a stretch here and kind of tie in the mass effect storyline to this Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. give me a sec to explain okay the mass effect (laughs) storyline basically um they could starts off blah blah blah, normal like Mm -hmm, same mm -hmm. levels of technology and shit as us eventually they get to a point where they they get they build like a space station which we're at now then it gets a little more sci-fi like they build they, they find a way to kind of harness energy and create faster space travel, like, like individual space travel. And then they get to a point where they get far enough and they discover these giant cases. This is where it's a bit, gets a bit far-fetched. They discover these mass relays, which are just giant like, rings that can transport you throughout the entire galaxy type thing. You know, kind of, kind of crazy. And then the Reapers come in, bad guys. And once they get humans get to a certain point, the, he, the Reapers know that and come in and kill every, all of human civilization that's not on Earth. Because kind of, they don't want them to get to the kind same of level. resetting the cycle. I'm not saying there's a there's like a there's a group of extraterrestrial killing machines waiting for us to get to a certain level of technology, but I feel like there's like some sort of like um, like once you get to a certain point of it, like let's say individualized space travel, then that might be like the next usher in the next age of technology. We never you know, know what that reminds me of is like in Civ, <sighs> you know, when you're just playing and it says like the Egyptians have reached the medieval technology era. Yeah. <laughs> just imagine that's what happens to the aliens. They're like, all right, time <laughs> to fuck them up. But that's one of the best things in Civ when you're rolling up with tanks and you're rolling up with a guy with a bow and arrow. He's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, one more like semi, not really conspiracy theory, but funny, funny anecdote. Are we going to get a um, take or... You- <laughs> No, continue. Go ahead. YouTuber, you'd like him. I'll link his channel to you. Philip Solo TV. He's from Calgary, and he just has the weirdest videos. One of being he <laughs> he met up with a flat earther to try and let the flat earther convince him of like whatever, and then they go to they go to a, a dinosaur museum in Calgary, and this oh, guy's like there, this guy's like I don't believe in I don't believe in dinosaurs. And he's like, well, why not? He's like, well, I've never seen one. <laughs> but it's like dead serious. And I'm just like, uh, I've never he's seen not dinosaur. wrong. Have you seen one? He's big. I believe in dinosaurs because I had a phase of loving dinosaurs when I was a kid. I think we is all it did. Drum Heller? What, what's the, what's Drum that? Heller. I've been there, yeah. Is it Drum Heller? Yeah, it's called Science North. It's a traveling dinosaur ex- exhibition. Okay, so uh, going back to the original, yeah, Drew, uh, do you got a take for us, or were you zoned out for that whole time thinking of dinosaurs? <laughs> oh no, Rob's right. Exactly, we're right. There's going to be a, a mass extinction once we get to a certain. He area. still hasn't answered the question. <laughs> Fucking Drew. <laughs> what do you mean? A take? Anyways, on my conspiracy theory, what's your take? 
Should we tell what it was? No, just. I was listening the whole time. I'm just blanking because you're putting me under pressure. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No, I think it's bullshit. I do too. Okay. Well, why? Man, it's just like a 30 year gap to go from a huge telescope to binoculars is completely reasonable. Though, look at the internet. What about the the other ones, though? Well, even the USB, like it's it's all exponential. You're gonna Mm -hmm. find out stuff. It's like prototypes are gonna be huge. So yeah. So by the time you cut it down. So I think it's bullshit too because if you really look at look at all the people who actually invented these things, they're not all sprouting from this one place. I found a, a thread. It was like an alien conspiracy board. Yeah, and they oh, were great. like, oh, didn't Velcro come from the uh, Roswell crash as well? And they're like, no, like Velcro was created in Sweden. Yeah, exactly. And it's like an acronym for his name or something. And everyone's like, oh, that's too bad. And they're all so <laughs> sad. I'm like, well, that's what I mean. They all didn't well, they all are from lizard people. one place. Yeah. They, they also can't like, cry because they're not tear ducks. <laughs> again, all these things were being worked on in the background. So like, oh, sure, it's like a 50-year leap, but they had been working on them for... So maybe it, instead of being 50, it was like a 30 year, as you said, because they'd already been working on it for... I think the transistors was the biggest one. That one went from like, they had radios that were like giant machines to then you could, like the next year you could walk around with them. Yeah. Like that's a huge gap, but the rest of them are usually like more... Well, even even like or... space, sp- space, space flight, <laughs> like Elon went from fucking rocket goes up to rocket goes up and then does a fucking orbit perfectly. at like a bajillion kilometers an hour and then down. lands perfectly on a floating thing and, those the coolest videos and 50% I've ever seen. of the time just goes for a swim after <laughs> <laughs> and then we fish it out he sticks to landing oh and there he goes <laughs> but like <laughs> but yeah no for sure and that's in a tiny amount of time like it's mm-hmm. just exponential i think today's day and age r&d is so easy to do with technology that but this was back in the 50s so okay so we have all so these... what about the moon landing Oh, that's a good one we actually so touched on. No, it happened. It I happened. think it happened, but like it's I, funny. I went through a phase when I was a kid that I thought it was fake. That does it's, not surprise me. It's, it's funny entertaining the idea that it didn't happen, <laughs> but I saw a video of the old astronaut just suckering some guy in the oh, face. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. Every single time that someone calls him yeah. out, Buzz is like, I'm having none of this. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Yeah, my boy Buzz Lightyear. He's done it like seven times. <laughs> so you, you didn't land on the moon. Bang! Yeah. <laughs> right in the jaw. I would too. Like, fuck you. That's yeah. my life accomplishment. Like, yeah, fuck that. Yeah. Circling back to big pharma, okay? <laughs> so why can we have all these massive advancements in technology, but then... Healthcare stays at or stays dormant. Actually, now they say this healthcare is like we had some it's massive. Gone <laughs> yeah, never, never, like you don't die really, from AIDS anymore. It's like <laughs> now that I think of it, it's yeah, like Advil no, no, Golden it's, 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 yeah. you, you just drill holes into your brain to treat headaches. If we see all the, the technology ones. Picking, you, just, you don't necessarily yeah. see the healthcare ones. Well, so you see the healthcare ones, but it's not as drastic. Like it goes from AIDS being a death sentence like forty years ago, or probably mm-hmm. more than that. To now being, you can live the rest of your life with it, mm-hmm. which is huge. I have a trippy thought actually. This might not come out stupid, but it could might come you have out. Five minutes can't be any worse than what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how we look back on like tr- traditional or on older medic medical treatments, like drilling holes in heads and like people being getting prescribed cocaine and smoking darts. Yeah. Yes. I wonder if like fifty years from now, people are gonna look back on chemo yes. and everything and be like, "What were these fucking idiots thinking?" You yes. know what I mean? I don't think so. 100%. I think I think they'll look at more not as drastic as that, but people yeah. will look back and be like, "Why were we injecting chemo into our bodies well, when we could have just done this?" But it's also hindsight's twenty twenty. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be so, so much funny. easier. It's gonna be so funny in like fifty years. We're like, "Why were we injecting chemo when we could have just done this? Put a hole in our like drilled the hole in our head like <laughs> they used to like <laughs> the they were right the back. first time." <laughs> yeah. Man, the problem is like they're gonna look back and they're gonna say that was not the way to do it, but I can but, see why. Yeah, it was like, the even only the way bodies. The yeah, there's reasons to do them, and they worked in their own regard. Wouldn't that? Does it's like it's just fucking? Does it kill? I don't think they ever actually worked. Yeah, what, just, ki- no, they worked it? in the sense that like you, you guys know what the bodies are, right? Nope. It's when they like would open up your head and just like hack at your brain and no, just they slice it up, your nose or that too. But like they would just basically oh. hack at your brain and chunk it up, thinking that if they just like fucked up certain parts of your brain, it would cure you. So mm-hmm. the, the like, main things that they were trying to cure were uh, what's it called? Like being a slut, basically. Like with with fair, so, so like they, they it's, know, it's still issue, know, it's still issue today. It must not have gone too far. They no. they like go and try and take out that specific. It used piece. to work, <laughs> but so like it it did work, and they had a success rate. But it's because they would poke at your fucking brain, and you go from being like someone who actually knew what two plus two was, and you could sleep around if you wanted to, to them being brain dead in the bed. Yeah, and like 
success. <laughs> <We> did, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, all they all they knew was, hey, this this fixes what we're trying to fix. I saw yeah. a video literally like on the weekend of like someone having brain surgery. I'm sure you've seen it, and it's like she's like a she her job is to play the violin in an orchestra. So she's she's getting a tumor removed from her brain. So it's opened up. They're in there taking out the tumor from her brain, and they have her just playing her violin the whole time through the whole surgery. It's like a three hour surgery. She's just sitting there playing the violin for three so, hours. So that if they know if something goes wrong or if they've touched something they weren't supposed to touch, they'll know immediately. How can she be awake while she's doing that? No idea. Oh, Technology advancements of- in healthcare. <laughs> she's a lizard. <laughs> I'm getting queasy thinking about Lots that. of local sedation. Correct. Yeah. But um, I'll show you the video after. It's insane. Local anesthetics. Local anesthetics. I'm assuming it would have to be a small tumor. There's no, no way that would be they, like. They, no, they're they doing the like cap right off. Like they're they're doing like like full brain surgery. Have you ever seen Grey's Anatomy? I, I feel like this can't be real. I'll show you the picture. Hundred percent. Hundred ten percent. Funny story about Grey's Anatomy. My mom will always like see me five playing COD, and being like. <laughs> you said that five minutes ago. <laughs> she'll be like, "How can you play these gory games?" Blah blah. I come upstairs. She's watching a doctor show with some guy's stomach like pulled apart. <laughs> the people are arguing over the top of it. Disgusting. I mean, there's, there's a difference between like. A medical procedure and you saying no Russian and lighting up an airport full of people. <laughs> Rob's, I, Rob's I, only, I only played my Russian because I wanted to see the stick the story in a linear fashion. I only played it six times over <laughs> and wo- waved my Russian flag. Rob's <laughs> gonna be having a brain like surgery and they're gonna just, instead of playing, they're gonna be like, you can play, play cod. <laughs> just, just, just rip some rip some. Rob or dies something. five <laughs> times in a row. They're like, oh shit, shit we did something wrong. <laughs> abort, abort. Yeah. Uh, well, so I think from what we've taken away from all this is that none of us believe in conspiracy theories. I believe really. in mine a little bit. And I also I, believe a bit in Shane's. But, but the reptilian like, overlords will smite you. Coming from a reptilian overlord. Mm-hmm. He's, he's that's an, that's he is, why he is I know they will. A yeah. five foot two reptilian overlord. I, I, got yeah. the, I got the tube message that smite Christian. <laughs> <laughs> and then we played smite? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that was very punny. I, I'm surprised actually that we've managed to kill a whole hour and 20 minutes with that. I thought we were going to be like done real quick. Oh, we, first I'm, I'm we, talk, we talk about things we know nothing about every single day, guys. Come on. This is we're perfect. We're very good at this. Yeah. Yeah. No, but also, I, thought, I thought we were going to finish the conspiracy theories like in 10 minutes and be like, all right, well, nah. what do we do for the next hour? No, we had a spinoff for like each I, one. I think this is the first genuinely themed episode. Yes, yeah, right? it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's not do it again. Happy two <laughs> I had to put way too much work into this. <laughs> well, next themed one will be. You thought about it for five seconds. <laughs> We're having quarter quells. Quarter quells? What's 50? What's that? I don't know. What's quarter quells? Wait, That's what? from Hunger Games. They have the quarter quell where like every yeah. 25 years they have a special event. Yeah. That's TV rest. special. That's this? Quarter quells. Yeah. It's our quarter I got to watch quell. Hunger Games again. I actually really like that movie. Yeah. All right, Rob, stop coming up with topics, Me too. man. We got to get climbing. All right. Yeah, okay, we're done. Wait, questions. Uh, oh, th- wait. Thanks for all the comments. Yeah, we already last, last week had the most amount of comments and out of any episode. Like, half good. of them are stupid, and half of them are just actually like laughing every <laughs> single time I read them. Uh, we like the up. stupid ones too. What was, what was the question that we prompted before? Uh, we oh, had, how many kids oh, yeah. could you, or how many Yikes. toddlers, four year olds, could you bat away with a bat if they're coming and, one to four at a time? And, and uh, they're freshly napped. Freshly napped. They've just been tired. Fed. Oh, no, they're hungry, sorry. Um, and the, and, and slowly start... the fence rips more and more. So it starts with one or two, and then like three to four, and then five to six, and mm-hmm. so on and, and so forth. And you're not allowed to eat protein bars. No. You're, you you're have nothing, nothing but a bat. And we'll, we'll give you a t-shirt. No pants. I you're can't wait for people being like, well, actually, I would I'm use the bat to make a fire and then just burn the field. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? I got two bats. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bat and I got a hog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, no. Do we have another question for them, or is that? Oh, that's good enough. That's I can't wait for the answer. answers. Okay. Well, and, uh, and also, let what us would know, you say I, to the reptilian overlords? Let us know what you want. Don't epi- kill me. Let us know what you want episode fifty to be about, because we have no idea. It'll probably, only, it'll only well, take you got half a year to get. Yeah, here, I was gonna so. say you got turning time. fifty anytime soon. <laughs> Drew so. will be gone by then. See you. Oh yeah. Okay, that's it for the podcast. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>